Yo, what is up you guys? It's your boy Vexies. In this video, I'm about to show you guys the absolute best control scheme in Gears 5. This control scheme is all around the best because it gives you the most options of how you want to play the game while being a little bit OP because it's pretty easy at the same time, alright? So what I am playing on right now is I am playing on regular classic alt without the re uh, defaults in the remapping. Um, and then I am playing with single stick movement on. Now, the reason that I, I love alt right now in this game is there's a few a few new reasons, okay? So, um, they added the backwards bounce as an actual option in this game, right? But the thing is, when you're playing on default and you're a little bit like like at a point where you can't see the cover behind you, you'll you'll just back roll. They, like the game just rushes as a back roll. And right here will be a back roll for me. And I'll show you. Default. Back roll. Back roll. See? Same distance, right? You rarely get it. You rarely get that. You gotta be very close to get that backwards bounce. So, and what this helps you with, it helps you, like, disengage in fights, as well as have more options. Simple as that. Like, I can be in the middle of a fight, and I don't have to really be worried about what's behind me. I just have to know what, where, like, what the map is, you know what I mean? So I can always just be backwards bounce. So I, have, I don't have to risk back rolling. And that, that is very helpful because that move alone is extremely useful um, to stop yourself from getting chunked in between shots. So say I want to shoot and then, then backwards bounce, I won't get slid at. You know, I have another chance to shoot him once he slides to this cover and I'll probably kill him. And then the, obvi the obvious reason why I will play on alternate is to lessen the amount of times I miss roll. Um, alternate has the roadie run and your roll bind it to X. So you're in full control of that. You got to hold down X to start the roadie run. And I love this because you can roadie run however you want to. I can roadie run out of cover. I can roadie run into a cover. And you can't do this on a uh, regular default. Because you try to roadie run into a cover, you'll just take cover. Same thing, you can't roll into a cover either. So like you just get way more freedom. Freedom to do awkward angles with uh, alternate rolls. One thing I like uh, that alternate players do a lot is they do something I like that they call attack roll. So they'd be coming around the corner, shoot, and then end up right back in the same spot that they started with. And this is something only possible on on alternate because you can roll it how, like whatever angle you want. Like I could literally roll into the wall if I wanted to. So having full control of, of rolling, roadie running, and bouncing is just extremely superior because like you know you're literally just. It's all user. It's all just off of you. It's not based off of any type of uh, game logic bugs that can happen. Especially when you're playing on the default The default it has like a lot of bugs that can randomly happen. Like your shot not coming out if you time it wrong just a little bit. Um, sometimes you ever try to roadie run near a wall and uh, because the wall bounce is on press instead of release, what happened is you'll just take cover. Or if you're trying to uh, roll away, you'll probably just take cover. Like it happens, it happens very randomly. So you actually do want to play on alternate. The only, th only thing about alternate is that you have to be very calculated on this control scheme. But in the long run, like as you get better at the game, you will be amazing at this control scheme. So the biggest hint I have for you guys on how to learn alternate is you actually have to learn how to time your left stick with your A button. Now, I noticed that the only times that I don't get the wall bounce I want on alternate is when I either mistime it or or if I'm too far from a, like a, the cover and I normally roll at, you know, so right here. Uh, it's like a, a, a rolling distance. Like, I can't take this cover. Oh, actually, what the? Alternate? Okay, I guess I can't take that cover. Yeah, you get some wild long slides, man. Like, come on. Yeah, that's crazy. Well, I was able to take a few of those covers. But um, you can hold X and you can spam A. And this allows you to take the cover at the max distance when you get close to it. And what this helps with is like this helps with beating players to spots off spawn. So this mainly is, will be something for like uh, escalation players, because uh, the round resets every single like you know this new round every single uh, round obviously, and you run out of spawn to like race your opponents to that spot, and sometimes you'll get positioning by simply being at the spot before your opponent is. And ultimate helped that it was very uh, seen in Gal Four. Gears Four was so annoying with that. I'll just straight the fuck out of him. Yeah. 
But yeah, see, I, I'll I'll learn the the, to the bounce timing pretty quickly. It actually took me an hour and a half, two hours to learn uh, how to play on this control scheme. But what I'm getting better at right now is sometimes when I'm trying to go around the cover and then back a the wall, I won't grab the wall or I'll shoot just like that. I'm trying to get once I get this this move and rhythm, I think I'll be perfect because this is actually a very important uh, cover fight move. Just being able to maneuver around this uh, corner pretty easily and shoot them whichever side I want. So, um, yeah, that's the advantages of alternate. Now, the advantage of single stick is the fact that your screen does not move when you wall bounce. Now, when you play without single stick, I'll show you right now. This what you guys just watched was single stick on. Now, when I play without single stick, you guys see I can look down, I can look up. My screen like recenters. It's like it jumps a little bit. Now this could be very helpful because this could uh, straighten out your reaction shots. But for me, I don't want that because um, I'm I'm pretty accurate on reaction shots on my own, and I like to be able to to look at my opponent completely while I'm bouncing around them because I can set them up better for a better shot, for a lot easier shot too. The only uh, downfall of playing single stick is just the fact that your screen does auto recenter after a, a few like seconds of inactivity, as you can see like right here. Oh, actually, I don't have it on. Hold on. Uh, you see, I just recenter. Now, believe it or not, um, this do actually doesn't affect me like at all anymore. It's it's affected me one time within like the past few weeks. I'm throwing a shot grenade, and it's because I was just I was just twirling it and it recentered on its own. But other than that, I, I'm perfectly fine with control scheme. I got completely used to it, so that uh, that disadvantage never occurs to me anymore. Um, I, I use my right stick a decent amount, but I also there all like are a lot of moments where I'm not using my right stick because it's the, actually the better way to play the game, and I'm perfectly fine. I don't experience the the uh, screen moving on its own. I should try to get them soft real quick, but yeah, I don't really experience the screen moving on its own, on its own so uh, I actually love this control scheme. I mean, this um this option. And I feel like on alternate, our reaction shots are so much cleaner because the game knows what I want to do. Like it knows I want to go around the cover when I press A and I start holding X, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep roadie running. Sometimes when you're playing on default, you'll either get stuck on that wall when you try to start roadie running or you will literally get like caught on the corner of it. That rarely happens at all for me. Rarely, rarely, rarely. So you just get you just get full on more control of your gameplay when you play on alternate, and then single stick you get even more control on top of that. So that's that's why this be, is like the most OP uh, control scheme to me. You get so many different type of advantages by playing on all, uh, because of the fact that the roadie running roll is, is separated from the wall bouncing, and single stick is its own beast. So. But that's basically it, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I might drop an alternate tutorial just to give you guys a few tips on uh, how to get better at playing alt. So be on the lookout. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe for your boy. I appreciate all of you guys tuning in. I'm going to kill this guy, bro, before this video ends. Get off me. <laughs> GG's. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you guys subscribe, comment, like post notifications once again and i will see you guys later peace out